Okay, we're back with more of Dreamfall, The Longest Journey. Approaching the end of the game, we're going to play it till we beat it today. Um, I am unable to use an Xbox controller for this game, and the controller I usually use seems to be crapping out today. So I'm going to try doing this with mouse and keyboard. Hopefully everything works okay. We're currently infiltrating this facility. We passed the low point of everyone in the story. The Apostle is now the Apostate. April got critically wounded and thrown in the lake. She's probably going to be okay. And things aren't looking great for Zoe either, so let's see what we can find. See if I can get further in here. Gotta get down on Friday, Yukupo. Everybody is looking forward to the weekend. Okay, that worked. <laughs> There's only five minutes left. How long to beat said we had about 30 minutes left, but uh, unless if they were really trying to end it on a Empire Strikes Back super downer, I feel like they got a. I expect there's at least an hour of gameplay left. We'll see. It's a production line. It looks pretty old fashioned. It's a production line. It looks pretty old fashioned. Shelves. This console must be for controlling the factory floor. This console must be for controlling the factory floor. That panel controls the loading bay doors. It's Saturday. Saturday. It's a production line. It looks pretty old fashioned. Okay, so I probably need to use the console. Let's give that a try. Those were probably used for packing the dolls as they came off the production line. That panel controls the loading bay doors. Can I use a lockpick with it is the question. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited to play the sequel. Do we know is the sequel supposed to close out the story or does it leave it open again? That panel controls the loading bay doors. I don't think I'm allowed to interact with that. Although it could be a mouse keyboard thing. If I'm stuck in this room for longer than a couple minutes. I'll uh, look it up really quick. According to this, we I'm standing exactly in the location where the intrusion originated. Or maybe right above it. Mm -hmm. This was definitely put up quite recently. It looks brand new. Can't fit there. It's a production line. It looks pretty old fashioned. It looks like a ventilation shaft of some sort. I can feel a draft. I don't think I can fit through there. Guess it could be this door, because I couldn't see this earlier. Yeah, progress. There's a big power switch in here. Did I turn on by flipping that? Looks like a vent. This was definitely put up quite recently. It Still feel the draft. New. Might mean that the consoles are powered on in here now. Let's see. This console must be for controlling the factory floor. Did not turn them on. This door still can't that be opened, right? Controls the loading bay doors. Okay.
Maybe after pulling the switch, I did something up the ladder. She mentioned doing something back up there, so I'll go check that out. Well, this whole area seems pretty dead, so just going down there and pulling a switch doesn't seem right. I guess there's this big crane that you can see from up here, but I don't think I'm able to access it. I know I can't go back on the roof. I dropped through the glass before where the um, sentries were last time. Just making sure I didn't miss anything up here that's interactable. Yukubo, you haven't played Deadly Premonition yet either, right? Just add it on the pile of backlog. I'm gonna see if I can get Andrea to play Deadly Premonition just so she's hungry for Twin Peaks content. And it's borderline plagiarizing Twin Peaks. All right, I think I don't have anything to do up top. Let me go down here. It's 3x speed, I think. Thought it only went up to 2. I'm sorry I don't speak or move or play at an inhuman YouTube speed. Oh, nice. Did they do... They did, like, a re-release of it on, uh... The Switch, right? The first game, and then also the sequels on the Switch? I think I picked it up right before that happened. I haven't been clicking the other it's machines. Okay. So I assume she's going to have that same line every time. I'm about to look it up here in a second. Oh, is there like some kind of service you can use to increase the speed even more than that? Did I not hit it all the way last time? Okay. Whoops. We're caught up now. Progress. Puzzle. Do something with the hook first, presumably. Okay. It's a heavy duty hook connected to a winch, which is again connected to the boom. Okay. What are we putting on the hook? So it doesn't move it's on its own. It looks pretty old fashioned. console controls the winch up and down okay so we probably want to move it up and then move it i don't know what i'm hooking yet though down. So it can't be above something. Okay. Let me see if I can figure out where I want this winch to be before I do something. Could get me through there in theory. Bang, green video.
Can we move the hook all the way to the back? That doesn't clearly do anything. I think you just want to do something with the production line, right? All right, I'll keep moving it around, see where it's not allowed to go. That'll probably tell me what it wants me to grab. And you can think it's something that I want to ride somewhere, but I don't have someone else to control the console, so. Oh, it's probably the grate. That makes sense. Right. Progress, I... See if I have to go and manually hook it. Hey, hype, got it. All right, that only took 11 minutes. <laughs> Four more hours of winch puzzle. I'm actually really excited to see what Dreamfall Chapters is like. Yeah, right? Oh my god, it's so good. I'm trying to get our friend Hapax and uh, Luna to watch it. It's the greatest television of all time. Interesting. Filled with medical equipment. They must have been observing the patient from out here. Creepy. I'm still trying to figure out why we didn't watch it when it came out three years ago. Like, I think it was running, it had the same time slot as Game of Thrones, and it was on Showtime, which we didn't have. So I think we just missed the premiere and then forgot that it was even happening. But it wasn't until the Red Letter Media review got posted. I was like, oh yeah, Twin Peaks, that's back. And Andrea described it as a religious experience, which I would agree. It's an access card. Nice. Give me that access card. Oh, I guess I only needed to open the one door. Okay, because it replaced it with the access card. It's an access card. It's closed. Yeah, I was gonna say I've. Uh, it looks to be in working order. This hasn't been a great year, or a great five years. Uh, there's something. There's something about Twin Peaks in particular compared to all of David Lynch's work it that has this weirdly like wholesome quality to it. That feels earned and kind of achieve the same purpose for me. Use access card. There we go. This door leads out to the factory floor, but it's closed and there's no handle. Is this the true meaning of key card? Oh. Oh, but I guess I have a key card now for the other side. Got it. Hey, sir. How you doing? How 
I guess a lot of TV shows and movies can be like really saccharine and over the top. Like, love will always triumph, and you see it so much that you roll your eyes at it and be like, okay, whatever. You didn't earn that, but you spend 18 hours setting up that, no, we know the world seriously sucks. That kind of attitude can work, I think. Hey, Skull. What's up? No, I can't leave until I find out what went on down here. This is the end of the road, and I'm not giving up. Okay, so I'm not allowed to leave yet. But I do have an access card to exits. Let me see where else I can use it. I don't think there's any other locked doors along the bottom part. Everyone's upset for serious and dramatic. Yeah, it, in in the aughts, I think that uh, Hollywood kind of lost the ability to just be completely sincere. You know, like we have to we have to wink about everything. We can't just be silly and know that it's silly. I mean, you have to, to let the audience know that you know. It's something that Japan has been able to hold on to a lot of the time. There's a lot of Japanese works that are unapologetically silly and don't feel the need to wink at you. David Lynch hasn't lost that. I blame the scene in X-Men 2 The Last Stand or whatever when uh, Hugh Jackman says, what were you expecting, yellow spandex? They talk about their uniforms. Go in the creepy child room where they were doing experiments. There's something in here. Is that a data cube? Data cube. One bed, one patient, a child. Who was it? Is it her? Doing here? She's drawing pictures of the house that April ended up in in the first Longest Journey game. Which we've seen earlier in this one. They had this patient under constant observation. But for what reason? They had this patient under constant observation. I see for something else, but I can't look at it. This was definitely a child's room. Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to see that. I'm guessing that's just a glitch. It's like the title screen or something. You can see now. You can see it out the window. Maybe not. Interesting. I use the data cube. A data cube. I might be able to read this on one of the consoles, if they're still operational. Sounds convenient. Wednesday, September 23rd. This is Dr. Park. Dr. Zuboff is currently with the subject in her room. The subject is improving Here. after a prolonged illness. She's responding well to stimuli and appears to be in good spirits. She is it Zoe? She even smiled at me when I went in there this afternoon to give her the injection. No, she didn't it's not. Say much. It's the creepy little girl who keeps telling us to save April. Girl. We're having problems with the new synth, however. And yesterday's Morpheus injection caused the subject some degree of discomfort and pain. It's a cool way to frame that scene. I have to admit that I've had some misgivings about putting someone through these experiments. Granted, Jiva created her for this purpose, and it's not like she's ever had a normal life, but still. Hmm. At any rate, it's not like we have a choice. We're simply following orders. And Wati HQ is adamant that we keep pushing forward. They want to see results and fast, or they might shut us down. Should that happen? Faith, 
the subject would have to be terminated. Yeah, it's dark. October 9th, it's a, a Friday, I think. I haven't seen daylight in a week. Faith has... <laughs> the subject has fallen ill again. We haven't isolated the cause of this latest setback, but Faith's heart appears to be, uh, to be weakening. I don't know if it's her condition or if the drugs... Anyway, she really needs to be in a proper medical facility, but unfortunately right. that does not appear to be an option. HQ doesn't want the subject to be moved. I... I really wish there was something I could do. The... the subject... I just hope she doesn't have to die here. Faith is... Well, she's just a child. And I feel responsible. Partly responsible. Obviously, we're just doing our jobs, but... Still. Just doing your jobs. I'm going home now. Dr. Grundal is taking over my next shift. I need to... To rest. To sleep. I haven't slept in... Anyway. October? What is it? October? Oh, what? November 3rd? God. The... The subject is very ill. We just gave her a very large injection of the new Morpheus as per HQ's brief, but she's... not responding. There's something seriously wrong. I think the dosage... Well, I don't... Uh, I don't think she'll last... Wait. Wait, something... Something's happening here. I'm getting some... She gonna... Really strange... Port to Arcadia? Hey. Hey, has your console stopped working? This is... This is weird. There's just oh, it's, static. Is like, it timed with like the static? A, I'm just getting static here. What's going on? It's interesting. Okay. 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 We're back now. We're... We're good. Well, that was weird. For a second, I thought I saw... Shit. Oh, shit. I think we... I think we just lost her. We, we just lost her. I'm not getting any... Any readings here. She's flatlined. I think she's dead. Faith's dead. The dosage... I think we... We... I think she's dead. Can you please... Just... Please, please go she check on her. phase out. She, she's dead now. I think she just passed away. Go! It. November 5th. So she's actually a ghost, so that's if the static We're cleaning out the lab. allowed magic from Arcadia to leak in temporarily. It's strange, but I... I watched her die. I saw her leave us. But I think... I think something happened. I'm not sure what happened, but something did happen. First, there was this static everywhere on our screens. It killed most of the equipment for like 15 seconds. And then I could swear I saw something. Just for a moment, a fleeting moment, a, um, a, a shadow, a house, Faith's house, her dollhouse. Well, it's, just, it's April's house from the end of the first game. About the experiments, about the lab, about what happened but I am leaving this crystal behind I won't let them simply wash their hands of her like she was never here like she never existed she deserves better than that she deserves to be remembered she was a person a girl her name was Faith this is Dr. Janine Park that's it. Hmm. All right, so she knows now. I still have the data cube, right? No, I guess not. Without the evidence, what can she do with the information under?
Hey, I can leave. Hopefully don't get harassed by things out here. There's no way to use it without gaining access to the system. I can access the system. That works. Really? Okay, I so I can't just freely go back now, right? Reversal. That button contacts the nearest available taxi cab. We apologize, but there are no available. Thank you. I'm happy to hear that. Please try again soon. No music. I've been back at her house for a really long time. On Twitch, come. That's fine. I usually depend on YouTube vods anyway. Pretty song. Anything new with the Rezzo's building? I haven't been in her hometown in like eight game hours or something. Loco Loco. The new issue of Eons has an article about the collapse. I should check that out at some point. They don't have pioneering monthly or Kasawi fashion. So I'm not interested. I can make you fly. I, I, I can make you Liv's closed up the store. Okay, I'm making sure that Liv's okay. Jardin de Rose. It's an ancient post box. Jardin de Rose. At home, Dad. My God, Zoe, you have not been an easy person to get a hold of. Where have you been? Home, Casablanca. Around. Sorry, I, I didn't think you'd be so worried. Worried? Well, that's an understatement. <laughs> you don't have to lie anymore. I know you haven't been home. What do you mean? Of course I've been. After our last conversation, I logged into the house and spoke with Wonkers. He told me you haven't been home for at least a week. Dad. What I don't get is why you had to lie to me. Well, I can like Dad, it's a long story. dream and I had to go temporarily away astral project to Arcadia. I'm not doing this over the phone. I'm home again now. Ask Wonkers if you want to. Hell, check the cameras if you don't believe me. I don't know what to believe. Was it Reza? Yes. Yeah, sort of. No. Oh, I had to help him. But that wasn't the only thing that... I don't think we should talk about this over the phone. When are you coming back? I'm still stuck out here. Another couple of days at the very least. Look, I'm sorry for lying to you, but I have my reasons. There are a lot of good predictions. Well, that backfired. I know. But you don't have to worry Smartphones about Smartphones, too. I'm back, and I'm staying put. I'll tell you everything when you get home, okay? Okay. iPhone and Droid I'll were like 2008, aren't they? No. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just come home when you can. Alright. Take care, Zoe. I'll call you tomorrow. And try to stay out of trouble. Yeah. Bye, Dad. This one's 2006, but it still did a lot of good things to predict technology. Tablets. 
Google Assistant. Hey, Wonkers. Hello, Zoe. It's good to see you again. Are you crying? Hey. No. No, I'm, I'm just... Yeah. I'm crying. It's fair. Oh, I see. Why? Because I'm sad. Are you staying or are you going away again? I'm definitely staying. Good. That makes me happy. I like it when you're here. By the way, you have a visitor, Zoe. Uh, <laughs> Bit of a surprise. It's like a yes, she asked me questions. Google Home, what but kind of built into a stuffed animal. The difficult kind, the kind I can't answer. About you and about your father. Where is she now? She's out there. She wanted to see the view. I told her she should wait for you, but she didn't listen to me. Hello, Zoe. What? Siri built into a terrifying monkey animal. What are you doing here? How did you get in? I came to talk to you. You've been on a very long journey. I'm they almost said the thing. Back. How did... You. I've traveled around the world, but it all comes back to you. Faith, she was your experiment. Jeeva's experiment. Is it her she now? Is. I mean, she was. But we weren't the ones who made her into what she is today. That was Watticorp. That was Pete's. I wanted Faith to live out her life in peace with a foster family. She didn't have long. And she'd been through Did a good job of ready. making you suspect but this Watticorp in the previous scene. Plans. They needed a suitable human subject for testing their drug Morpheus with Dreamnet. So they took Faith away. I know. This is why I can they actually project. Through hell. I never wanted that. You don't get to make excuses. She was your creation. She was your responsibility. Fair enough. Looking back, I realize it was a mistake to let them take her. But Wadi Corp owns us. We don't get to have a say. You're not telling me anything I don't know. Why are you here? Did you bring the eye with you? The twins? Go ahead, do your worst. I'm too tired to care anymore. I'm here to ask for your help. My... help? What do you mean? I want to stop Watticorp from releasing the Dreamer. And I want to stop the static from spreading any further. It's both seem like you good objectives. You me cruel and uncaring, but I'm simply pragmatic. There's nothing to be gained from Wadi succeeding with their plans, or the static causing another collapse. And I also have personal reasons for wanting to stop Pete's. He has already caused much pain. And he will cause untold damage if his plans are carried out. What makes you think I'll help you with anything? Is Pete's the I'm gross mutant you monster guy? Him. But you will help Faith. You won't let her suffer. That was such a crazy scene. And you will stop Watticorp. Even if they hadn't killed your friend. How do you know all this? I planted a bug on you when we first met, Zoe. It's been sending me data at regular intervals. I've heard everything you've said. I know everything that's happened. I've helped you along the way, and now you will help me because that's the only the way. The bug didn't follow me to Arcadia, though. The only way you can avenge Reza and stop Watticorp. It's as simple as that. How can I help Faith? She's already dead, isn't she? Yes and no. It's a good question. I can't explain it, but you've seen it for yourself, Zoe. She's in the networks, in Dreamnet, on the wire. Whether it's her, 
I still want to see this whole series get a remake so or be a Netflix show know. or something. It's not for me to theorize. The fact is that a part of her is inside the networks, inside Dream Core, and she's suffering. But you can help her, Zoe. If I do this, I won't stop with Watty or with Pete's. You need to be held accountable too. I'm a marked woman. The moment the eye finds me, I'm dead. Watty doesn't want me walking around telling people what I know. Game characters don't shower. If that's not accountability, I don't know what is. And right now, all I want is revenge for what they've done to me and my company. If it means losing everything, so be it. So what is it you want me to do? You need to go into Dreamnet and convince Both things longest to journey games go. pass the fuck out Once of the Vectal test. The network will <laughs> shut down and Angana, Dreamcore will disconnect from the wire. Convince Faith to... How do I do that? And why me? Because you have a connection with her. I don't know what it is. You seem to share some of her more esoteric genetic qualities. And she's taken a shine to you. Besides... I'll talk about it when I'm not talking over dialogue. Find out ...where in the network Faith or her residue, her memories, reside. I've tried. But it's like she's not actually in there. You, on the other hand, have met her. Several times. She's reaching out to you. I just want to keep saying, say it, April. It's you. And to help her, you must first help me. How? I've brought a dreamer. You go inside. Talk to Faith. Find a way to make her let go. Whatever she's become, a, a virus, a ghost in the machine, mm. only she can stop this. If she keeps holding on, if her influence keeps spreading across the wire, it will eventually shut down completely. We're talking days. Maybe less than that. If she can do that, what is she? I don't know. Like I said, virus. a ghost in the machine. Her body is gone, but her mind. They pumped her full of Morpheus. They murdered her with an overdose. Who knows? Maybe there is something as banal as an immortal soul. <laughs> and that's what's left her. soul, her. it's her life force. She while she was Scientific. Dreamnet, dreaming a very, very powerful dream. Maybe she's still in that dream, and that's what's spreading across the wire. Whatever the answer Making the dream fall? Doesn't matter. The fact is that Faith is in there somehow, inside Dreamnet, inside Angana. And she needs to leave. You're saying she needs to die? She's already dead, Zoe. That's a fact. Whatever's left of her isn't happy in there. She needs to shut down. Move on, whatever you want to call it. And you expect me to ask her to let go? To die? Can you die, please? Because it's the right thing to do. Listen to me. We're running out of time. I need you to make a choice. Either you do this or I leave and you never see me again. If that happens, the wire will break down, causing untold damage. Watty Corp may still succeed in releasing the Dreamer, and Pete's plans could still come to fruition. Who is be very be bad if people got the Dreamer. Him or me. I Probably Pete's. Despicable. You used an innocent person as a test subject. You made her, and then you discarded her. And for what? I think it's not to insignificant that they're dreams. showing us pictures of her parents still, in the back wall. I won't let the bad guys win. Before and during this scene. This far. And I'm going all the way. Someone told me not long ago that I lack commitment. Well, connect me to the dreamer. I mentioned this earlier. This is one of those stories where it's almost certain that the, the writer had to start a new protagonist because it's on a new console. Before. And they really did a great job with it. Will allow you to control it working within that constraint. That way, Faith won't be able to push you out again. What do I tell her? How do I make I assume her go? Dreamfall Chapters I assumes know. that you've played the first you two games a bit more than this one assumes you've played the longest this is journey. Territory. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good luck. I'd like to see this format for sequels more often, where the second one is with a different character, mostly, and it kind of intersects with the original story. I feel like I've seen a few movie series that have done that. Golden Sun does that as well. Sorry. It feels different this time. Faith on 
wants me to come inside. Back to the spooky house from the end of the first game. Which we've been here before, too. The longest journey. They said the thing. Prop basically covered it. Yeah, the Bechtel test is just, it's a media trend test that says, does this movie or video game or whatever include two named female characters who talk to each other about something other than a man? And it's more shocking how often stories fail that test. Not to necessarily say anything about any individual work, but it's kind of a problem if 80% of video games fail the test, right? So I'm saying that Longest Journey passes the fuck out of it. It has a lot of great critical, plot critical, named women characters, and they talk to each other quite frequently. Hello? Hi. You must be Faith. I'm Zoe. I know. What are you doing? Playing. Uh, no one's going to get mad about Dunkirk, right? Fine. What are you playing? <laughs> A game. Really? Can I play too? Maybe. Okay. You've been helping me, haven't you, Faith? The white lady told me to. Oh. What did the white lady say? She said to talk to you. Did she tell you that I had to save April Ryan? Yes. What does the white lady look like? She's all white. When did you last see her? Thanks, Faith. She was here, just before you. She was? Yes. What did she say? She said it's all fine. Yeah, it's she cool, said you did good. She said you saved April. That's what she said. I'm excited to play chapters. But I saved April. Yes. You know I've been looking for you, it's don't the you? Dragon lady, yes. I assume, right? The white I dragon mean, from the library. Did you talk to me, Faith? And from the beginning of the first because game. Because you're like me. Like you? How? You're literally me. You dream like me. You mean I infect your brain or something? True. Yes. You're my sister. I'm. What? Hey. Your sister. The pictures yes. on the back wall. You're my big sister. You mean because of the way we dream? No, I mean literally. No, because we're sisters. For real. Nice. Faith, this is very important. What makes you think we're sisters? I just know. And the white lady says so too. We have the same mother. We do. <laughs> there you go, you can tell so. It's impossible. Oh my god. My mother died oh my god! Although actually it was mm -hmm. sort of obvious. No. Our mother isn't dead. Only she even dropped sisters. the foster family That's thing in the previous scene. This is my favorite way of doing a reveal it's like true. this. Bioware is really good at it. Lying. I believe you, Faith. Okay? Make the audience start to suspect it immediately you. before the reveal. It's just... I thought my mother was dead. Do you remember your mother? No, I don't know. And I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about something else. Faith. Why are you here? Because I don't have anywhere else to go. You can't stay here. You're hurting the world. I know. That's Can you what die, the white please? Lady said. But I don't know where to go. And. And. And I'm scared, Zoe. I know. I would be too. But sometimes we have to let go. Sometimes we just have to trust that things will be okay. Sometimes we just have to have. Faith. Okay. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here anymore. You're supposed to be. to be gone. I'm supposed to be dead. No, you're not supposed. Yes. Yes, Faith. You're supposed to be dead. I know, but I don't want to go. I'll be alone. Maybe. Maybe not. I can't promise you anything. But I believe there's something better waiting for you. I have faith. And I can promise you that I'll stay here as long as you need me to. You'll stay with me? I will. You won't have to be alone anymore. A game about okay. talking a child into... <laughs> Auto-termination. Can you stop existing, please? 
<laughs> right, you can <could> vote. <laughs> My thing is all about consequences, so if she saves her, if she finds a way to save Faith, that's fine for me, so long as there are consequences for it, right? I think that's more of my frustration with a lot of storytelling, especially when it comes to character shields for children. That it's like they get they get rescued without the protagonist paying any kind of cost for it. It's just it's for free. Should be gone as we turn around the house. I'm getting sleepy, Zoe. It's okay, sweetie. You can go to sleep. I'm getting cold, too. Come here. Hug the goat. Nice. Better? Yes. Will you stay with me? As long as you need me to, Faith. Even when I'm sleeping? Even when you're sleeping. I promise. Okay. Good night, Zoe. Good night, big sister. Man, that's Good sad. Night, little sister. <sighs> Goodbye, Faith. Ghost virus girl is gone. I guess I gotta follow that up in the next one. I feel like they gotta give us some kind of stinger about what's going on with April. We can leave the apostle where he is. job, Dreamfall. I wonder if you tried to do this as a like a mini-series, how many episodes you would need. You could the puzzles generally aren't critical to the plot, so you wouldn't need to include any of that. You could probably have a joke about it somewhere. The um inflatable duck thing from the first game. It's Pete's How long is chapters? Does anyone know? The first game was a bit Sam, longer than this one. Sam, is that you? Oh, you must help me. There's only darkness. They stole my eyes, my ears. He took the world away from me. There's nothing left. Nothing. Do you hear me? Are you there? I need my senses back. Answer me. Answer me! Pets? Papa can't hear you. And he can't talk to you. Oh, pets. Hmm. Pets. What do you so Maybe they could do it in like three ten episode seasons then. The story of all three games. Twins killing Pete's. Interesting. I'm sorry about this, Zoe, but I can't let you wake up again. Damn. Goodbye. Was well, she already did it? Shit. You really are a very beautiful girl. So like your father. I never thought I'd see you again. Is she gonna get trapped in Arcadia? And I wish it didn't have to end like this. Is she asleep? It's one way to put she it. She is. I'll stay here and watch over her. You should. Maybe when she wakes up, she'll want to play a game with me. Damn. Maybe. 
I would like that very much. This is the Empire Strikes Back of the Longest Journey series. So there it is. My story. They said the other thing. It sounds pretty unbelievable, I know. Parts of it still feel like a dream to me. But it did happen. All of it. I helped send Faith on her way. The static is gone. Things are back to normal. <laughs> All should be well with the world. Except it's not. At all. Didn't we the see this way earlier in the game? It. The dreamer could still be released. If that happens... I'm not sure how long I've been here. Or how long I'm going to stay. But there's nothing more I can do now. My story's been told. The future is out of my hands. And in yours. You need to do something. You need to tell my story until the word is out. You need to back the Kickstarter. What's going on. When did chapters come out? Ten years later? Dreamfall I'm chapters. Really soon, but I'm not afraid. If death is the end, I know that our dreams remain behind. So whoever you are, whatever you plan to do, good luck. I'm sure you'll need it. I hope my story 2014, has been okay. I'll feel really stupid if I find out I've been talking to myself this whole... Interesting. Reza? Nani? Thank God. Oh, she might still be dreaming right now. What's the implication just she's in a coma? She's fading away. Careful, Dad. That is not him. There ain't no bad shit happened to Reza. Goodbye. Damn, imagine playing this in 2006 if you were like, you managed to get an original Xbox. You had played The Longest Journey seven years ago. You're like, that's the end? What? <laughs> Welcome to the story time, Zoe. Hello. Am I dead? I don't know. It doesn't matter here. This is where everything is. Here, you simply are. Alive or dead, you just are. Understand? No, but please go on. <laughs> Thanks, Zoe. You're special, Zoe. I am? You are. You are a dreamer. Someone else told me that. Is that good? It is. And it isn't. There's nothing good or bad about it. Like the stars. I don't skip credits. The stones below. It simply is. Oh. So, where are we again? I assume post-credits gives us a breadcrumb for April. This is where the stories are told. The stories that create the sky and the ground and all that is in between. You see, Zoe, this universe and everything in it is like an endlessly thick book containing countless stories. That's amazing. Can you tell me one of those stories? I could, but not now. There's no time. We need to act before it's too late. You're here to tell me a story, Zoe. I am. You are. I see. What's happening? Why do we have to act? Because the undreaming is unchained. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound good. So where do I begin? At the beginning, Zoe. At the beginning? It's going to be a long story. That's fine. Okay. My name is Zoe Castillo, and I think I might be dead, but I'm not sure. <laughs> My father's name is Gabriel. 
cool. And finally, today is the day everyone's been waiting for. Isn't that right, Ryan? <laughs> That's right, Diane. It's been a closely oh, no. guarded secret for months, but today, Watticore finally unveils its hotly anticipated new product, Dreamtime. Fans have been lining up in front of stores for weeks in preparation for what some are calling the single greatest event in recorded history. Wow. If you didn't have to be here this morning, Ryan, I'm sure you'd be out there lining up with the rest of them. <laughs> you betcha, Diane. Watticore has yet to reveal what Dreamtime is all about, except that it's destined to change the face of entertainment forever. Why are rumors <laughs> it's happen? not a dreamer, Dreamtime it's just a segue. To dream lucid <laughs> dreams about anything they want. Isn't that something, Ryan? Modern technology. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. You just gotta love it, Diane. <laughs> Back in Arcadia. I'm always a big fan of the Dark Metal chapter. Nice. Yeah, this game was great. Uh, I'm gonna tweet Ragnar Tornquist again and be like, hey, please, for the love of God, pitch this. Pitch. To Netflix or Hulu or somebody. Uh, really, really good writing. Hey, thank you, Isla. Appreciate that. It's a bummer that the first two games are an ancient point and click adventure game that's really hard to get running on modern systems. And a game that was originally developed for the original Xbox, so it hasn't doesn't work too well on mouse and keyboard. I would love to back them to just redo the first two games, even if it's something like Unity or something, so that more people can see it. Yeah, keep all the original voice acting, because it's all stellar. I assume the actors are all still around. It, it, both of the original games work just fine as they exist, but I, it's one of those situations like with um, Lisa, where Lisa has polish issues and it's rough around the edges, and it has a cool story that it's telling, but... I worry that it's going to lose people in the in the packaging, right? In this case, the packaging for both games was uh, uh, top of the line when it came out. Like some of the graphics and, and pre-rendered backgrounds in uh, Longest Journey One are stellar for '99. This game is an original Xbox game. You compare it to something like um, the original Knights of the Old Republic. It looks gorgeous. They could probably do a remaster, though, without losing any voice acting. I wonder if you could remaster Longest Journey 1 since point-and-click adventure is kind of out of style. They should dump the combat entirely, yeah. The combat makes me wonder if that was, like, a external mandate. Um, Deadly Premonition has the exact same problem, where I feel like if that game had come out 10 years later, they would have just made it a walking simulator. Actually kind of blows my mind that Shenmue was a thing when it was, right? You have this game that's effectively a walking simulator that has like seven Virtua Fighter fights in the whole game. Chapters are shiny. It's cool. I guess if they already have an engine, maybe they can load some of it into that. There's definitely a lot of puzzles that only probably work with the pre-rendered background, but... 
I know the Final Fantasy VII remake is a shit show, but they did some fun stuff with interpreting a pre-rendered background in a 3D space. April Ryan, second build. It's fair. Hopefully none of these people have passed away. It's one of the bummer things with uh, watching the Twin Peaks revival we were talking about earlier. Like, four of the people in the revival have passed away. Some of them even passed away between when it was filmed but before it aired. I totally agree that the vocal performances are really critical. I wouldn't want to recast anybody. Shockingly good for the time, too. Like, you think about most voice acting back in, like, 1999. Because it started to get better around 2006 as it became more common in video games. But it was definitely a, a budget priority in the first game, and you could you could tell. April's VA had health issues, but she's still around. Just can't do much VA work. Yeah, everyone, tweet tweet at Ragnar Tornquist. You have a great pitch, dude. Jump on while, while people are still trying to chase that uh, high concept fantasy money. It's not totally dead yet after Game of Thrones fucked it up. <laughs> I guess maybe part of the fear is um, you could argue that a story like this is unfilmable. Not that there's anything about it that doesn't work as a TV show. It's more so that like the, the settings are so fantastical that production design would be insanely expensive or you'd have to do a lot of green screening. So maybe it does fit better as a video game in that respect. but. You could do it as like an as like a animated series, maybe. Keep the voice actors. Yeah, those Disney stages are great. Did they use on the Mandalorian. No grubbers were harmed in the making of this game. I'm seeing more and more pushes for certain things to just let's be fine with it being animated, right? Like. It seems like all of the problems with cats would not have been a problem if cats had just been animated instead of this weird attempt to make it heavily, 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 heavily animated, technically live action. The Undreaming is Unchained. It's called Stagecraft. It's the 360 screens that they can... It's the Unreal Engine, right? They can tweak it while the actors are on set. The undreaming is unchained, so Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Tibet, 1933. Oh yeah, it's a title screen. And the opening with Brian Westhouse, I think. I think they can use Unreal to add things to it on the fly, if I remember from watching the documentary, is it good? Unreal 5. Creepy. Hello. 
Oh man, we haven't seen him. Shift him. This is how Brian West House made it to. It's cool. Zoe can live on and influence things through dreams. She can be a. Bran Stark. Not Nick Fury needs to show up. <laughs> Wow, they did not do a stinger letting us know what's going on with April. I'm honestly shocked. Props to them. I mean, uh, it's one of those things where it's like, there's no way that, that they just took out April like that. She still had a story to tell. Um, so it just seemed obvious that they would give you some kind of like hand rising out of the swamp or something. That was great. Thanks, Yukapo, for keeping this in the first game on your sub block. I don't think I would have played this outside of your recommendation and uh, I really really enjoy it and I want to see more from this creator. I want all their lights to be green. Dreamfall chapters will get played sometime in the distant future, we'll see.